How's it going guys? ArcherBlakeC here with uh, some more, I don't want to say leaked Bakugan, but uh, some more revealed Bakugan via the show and other sources from Bakugan themselves. Um, and we're going to kind of talk about it. Uh, I will warn you that this video will be uh, pretty... Uh, I'm not going to give too many plot spoilers on the show, uh, but just uh, instances of the show uh, will be mentioned and characters and uh, I will be showing you some new Bakugan from the show that they revealed uh, and they are pretty cool. So if you want to get a good look at those before I talk about them, uh, go ahead and check out the show. Um, the way you can watch it right now is just watching it on Cartoon Network, uh, but that is going a lot slower, I believe. I, I don't know how it runs because I'm watching it on the app. The app is on like Apple TV, uh, your phone. Um, Bakugan's on there. It's not on the Cartoon Network website though, which is kind of weird. Uh, but um, just download the app on your phone or if you got Apple TV or I guess one of the other uh, services that can get the Cartoon Network app, it's on there. Uh, you have to sign in with your network provider. Um, so, uh, I mean, I just kind of bummed it off my parents and I just signed into theirs. So I just do that and watch the show. Uh, but uh, if you got one, sign in, find a friend if you don't and use their codes or whatever to get in and you can watch the show. It's getting reasonably okay. We'll talk about that here in a second. All right, uh, so here we are at my Twitter. If you're not following me on Twitter, go check me out. Here it is right here. Uh, we're growing, 184 followers, you know, no big deal. Uh, but um, I do retweet stuff, I tweet stuff, uh, I try to find interesting things, say interesting things. Uh, but uh, I'm here because Bakugan revealed WebAM on their Twitter. So make sure you're following Bakugan too, because they'll send you these fun little things. Uh, they showed us WebAM, here he is in a nice little fruit bowl. Uh, I don't know why they have a spider in a fruit bowl, but he's here and he's looking real cool. He's got uh, little bendable legs here. Uh, his eyes are on this weird little hinge thing. I don't know what that's about, but you can kind of tell that the legs are going to kind of fold in and the ball is going to close in on the legs and he's, he's going to be pretty solid. It's going to be really nice. Um, they, actually, they actually gave us his stats and I'm assuming that this is for the Ventus version because that's what they showed us. Uh, but 400 B power and 4 attack damage. Um, and then the cool part about him is that with WebM Ultra Card, you may re-roll once each turn if you miss a roll with it. That is really interesting because we definitely haven't seen anything like that yet. Um, it basically just gives you a second chance to roll him out there if you miss, like me, with Fangzor. Uh, I wish Fangzor had that ability. Maybe we'll get one in the future with that, but I think we have all the Fangzor colors, so I think I'm out of luck there. But anyway, um, I don't think that's an overpowered ability at all. Um, all it does is just give you a second chance to do what the game's meant to do, which is for you to fight the Bakugan together. So uh, I think that's it's actually kind of nice. It's actually pretty helpful. Uh, maybe they'll all have that. Maybe it's just the Ventus version. But I, uh, I do love WebAM, and his design is really clean. So um, I'm really happy to see WebAM there. Uh, and then a couple days ago, they also showed off Garithion Ultra with a nice uh, HD image here. Um, this is the Chaos Garithion Ultra. Uh, uh, we don't know, oh yeah, we do know his stats, uh, with, uh, 600 B power and two attack damage, but they don't mention anything about a, um, an ability here. So, uh, we will have to see how that works out. I think he's coming out in like wave three. So, uh, wave two is starting to roll out now with, uh, Ultra Trox and Nilius Ultra and things like that. I think the next wave that's coming out is going to have Garithion, uh, Tritonium and those guys in it. So, uh, I'm eagerly awaiting that. Uh, coming my way and our way, I guess. We're all waiting. I know. So, uh, that is Garithion Ultra and WebAM. Uh, I don't think there was anything else on here, but yeah, go check me out on Twitter. Um, but now, uh, we're going to start getting into uh, some of the uh, spoilery stuff. So, again, if you haven't seen the show and you don't want any spoilers, uh, click off, go watch it, download the app. Uh, I don't mind. Come back to me, though, and uh, we're going to talk about the cool stuff that they're showing off. So, uh, first off, I just want to say that I'm getting a uh, majority of this information for the, from the Bakugan wiki. You can't see it's behind my head here, but that's their Bakugan wiki logo. Um, uh, just go here and find uh, the Bakugan Battle Planet section, and then find a section that says Bakugan. Uh, this is kind of like their index for all the... What is that? I haven't even seen this. What is this? Who's Tico? Oh! Okay, yeah, we're going to talk about that here in a second, because uh, I didn't even know that was there. Uh, interesting. Anyway, <laughs> I love when I'm doing these videos and I find stuff that I didn't see when I was preparing for them. That's interesting. All right. So, 
Um, I'm finding my information here. Uh, you can obviously you can click on all these and they will give you uh, links to pictures and whatever they know about it so far. So let's uh, go to the first one, which is Phaedrus. Uh, it's just a better look at her. Uh, I say her because if you go watch the show, Phaedrus is a girl in the show. Uh, she kind of has a similar voice to Pegatrix in a way, uh, almost close to the same voice actor. I don't want to say it is because I don't know, but uh, to me, it sounds pretty similar. Uh, this is the darkest Phaedrus, uh, even though there's a lot of green here, uh, it's green and purple, uh, and in the show she is darkest, uh, and she actually ends up becoming Lightning's Bakugan. So, uh, Phaedrus is cool, we've seen the card, uh, the Ventus card, uh, and we haven't seen any of the other ones, but we know that this is happening, um, and then in my leaked, uh, my leaked Bakugan video, uh, I did spot a, they're going to have a diamond darkest, what I'm assuming is Phaedrus. So, uh, this is the darkest Phaedra, so that makes more sense. You know, the, the characters Bakugan are getting all the uh, diamonds and stuff. So, uh, be on the lookout for Phaedra's here. Alright, next. Again, spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. Uh, we have this new, unknown Shogun Bakugan. Uh, he had a whole episode uh, devoted to him. I, th I want to say episode 12, I think. Um, but... Uh, we have him. He is very cool. He's got like a samurai armor suit on. His, his uh, samurai helmet thing has like some spikes coming out of it. Uh, he's like really mechanical, but his eyes look really organic in the show. They get a bunch of little close-ups on him and stuff. They don't say his name, so we don't know what his name is. Uh, it shows 600 B-Power here, but in the show, usually all the characters just start out with 600 B-Power. So that doesn't tell us anything, so don't get excited. Um, but this is Chaos, obviously. He's got cool armor, he's got big arm, things on his arms, and he's got a cool like laser samurai sword. Uh, very cool design. He fights uh, Shun's uh, Fade Ninja. I think that's his name. Uh, I don't want to get his name wrong. Uh, but that, that is the Ninja Bakugan, which uh, you've seen in some of uh, Bakugan's videos that they kind of talk about the different factions and stuff. If you didn't see him, go look at the Bakugan official video for the Aquas faction. Or for, for the Hydras Hydrus' video on the Bakugan page, uh, they show him for like a split second. He's really cool. So, uh, we have this Samurai Shogun Bakugan. He's really cool looking. He has a whole episode, and you get to see him fight a lot. So, moving on to Pyravian, which uh, we've seen a lot of people talking about uh, so far. Um, the Golden Bird Bakugan with the 1600 B power. Again, it's in the show, and that doesn't really tell you anything. So, uh, I don't think that's what we're going to get. Uh, but Pyravian is Pyravian is the uh, first instance of an Oralis Bakugan being shown in the show. Uh, she kind of uh, popped up, or he or she, I don't know if they, they didn't talk yet. Um, but it kind of popped up in one episode. It kind of exposed itself to Leah, and she uh, got to see it and was all uh, mesmerized by it or whatever. And then a couple episodes later, in the new run of the episodes that they showed us, uh, it came up and... Um, it, uh, it's in the Midsummer Night Nightmare episode. I remember the name of it now. Uh, but um, it kind of mesmerized a bunch of the Bakugan in their, like, ball form. And they, like, all kind of rolled out of their owner's houses and, like, down the street and followed it while, as it was flying down the street. It was kind of cool. It was a really cool episode. And uh, I don't want to give too much of the plot away. But uh, this thing is, I, I guess, some kind of powerful creature that is uh, good at attracting Bakugan. So... Not a lot of information on it yet. We do have a name, and then I believe you can see the figure of it in the leaked Bakugan image from my last video. Go check it out if you haven't seen it again. Um, uh, I think I saw a maybe a Pyrus and Aventus version of it, but definitely the Oralis. Uh, but uh, it is going to be coming out soon. I think in that Walmart leak that was being floating around. Uh, uh, there was a Pyravian on that. So maybe wave three for this guy. We don't know. Uh, but that's all we know about Pyravian. So moving on. Um, this is one that's not in the show or anything. It's just kind of a leaked image. Uh, this is a uh, robotic Cyclops Bakugan. Um, we haven't really seen anything like this uh, because it's it, it's just a robot. It's it's not really you know an organic creature turned into a robot. It, it is what it is. It's a robotic 
cyborg Bakugan. So he's really cool looking. He's got his big glowing eye in the middle. You can already see that this Bakugan's like figure is going to be cool because it could just beat the ball and then he's got a big glowing eye that pops up or something like that. It's going to be really, really interesting to see. But uh, we don't have a name for this. No uh, idea of what wave he's coming out in or anything. It's not even in the show. So that doesn't, that doesn't tell us anything. So this is just strictly a leaked image uh, we don't know much about. So moving on, uh, I have some other things here. So uh, I... I think I, t I didn't tweet this out, but I put it on Reddit. Um, I found this image, and it's a picture of one of the uh, designers at Bakugan working on, like, prototypes of the figures. So, like, you can see up here, uh, there is a prototype of, Hi a prototype of Hydra's Ultra. He's kind of got this weird, like, headdress, Egyptian headdress thing on his head. <laughs> it's kind of funny, because uh, that's not what we're used to, obviously, with our Hydra's Ultra. Um, but, uh, it, obviously, in the middle, there's this big golden dragon thing that uh, has a really cool silhouette. I have another picture of it here. It's, it's a better look at its silhouette here. Um, but uh, it's it's a flying dragon. He doesn't have any feet or anything. Got a big tail. It's got a, one of those big strong spring looking tails so you know some kind of flip is going to be happening here. Um, but uh, this one's weird because uh, it could be just a prototype of Serpentee's Ultra. Um, a lot of people were saying that and I, I can see it. That's why I'm saying it. Um, so, uh, I don't want to get too excited about this one, but the reason I am is because I think I saw in my last, uh, Bakugan leak video or whatever, one of these in the middle, uh, I, I should have pulled up the image for y'all, but go, go check that video out. I, I make a big deal out of it towards the end. <laughs> I call him the long boy because I only saw the, the front part of him here. So this, this part was facing us directly towards the camera. So he's really long across. So uh, this is Long Boy, but from the side. Uh, we don't know who this is. I can see how it could be a Serpentis Ultra uh, prototype, um, because also in this image, I, I cut it out on my camera, but over here was a Serpentis Ultra sitting on the table. Um, but the only reason that makes me think that that's not the case is that I, I believe I saw this sitting on one of the little, it almost looked like one of these little stands right here in the uh, Hong Kong Toy Fair uh, video or picture, excuse me. Um, so go check that out if you didn't see. All right, so now moving on into images from the show. So, spoiler, 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 we're getting into show stuff now. Um, this is images I took on my TV directly from the show because I, <laughs> I couldn't find pictures of them anywhere. So, moving into these now, these are Bakugan that we have not seen before. I think this one had a good glimpse uh, in one of the episodes, but uh, I, don't, I didn't see anybody make a big deal of it or anything. Uh, but this is a pretty decent image of it. It's some kind of like hollow, like bone zombie looking war, uh, water buffalo looking thing with big drill arms and he's massive. You'll see in another image that he's got these huge wings on his back. This guy is really cool. I'm very interested in whatever this is. None of these things we have names for at all. So uh, this is all speculation um, on what they are and what they're supposed to be. But uh, I, they're kind of a little self-explanatory in uh, what they are because they have good design qualities. So uh, don't know this guy. Over here to the left is what I'm calling the Panther Bakugan only because he's black right now. Obviously, if he has a different faction, he's not going to look much like a panther, uh, but he's black. Uh, he's not a saber-toothed tiger, because, or I, I don't think he is, because he doesn't have really long tusks uh, in the front or teeth. Um, you know, we still have a chance for a saber-toothed tiger, which I, I really want because I, I'm a fan of saber-toothed tigers. You know, me and my dinosaur thing, which you're going to see here in a second. Really excited about the dinosaurs coming up because um, there is a, a, a nice little boy right here that we're going to talk about here in a second. But panther guy is looking really cool he's got this big thing on his back which we'll see here in a second over here to the right is what i'm calling the warthog bakugan um he uh is uh pyrus form here and uh you'll get a better look at him in a second there's i have two more images um he's got these long tusks here and they're kind of like the warthog tusks and there's a smaller one so just like a warthog there's a small tusk and then a big tusk coming under um and he has like the little sharp little feet like warthogs have uh so uh, we're going to get a better look at him in a second. But this next image shows uh, my favorite one that I'm most excited about. And that is the Triceratops Bakugan. So um, here he is. <laughs> I am really excited about this guy because y'all know how much I love trucks. And y'all know how much I love dinosaur things. 
and this guy is a triceratops with some kind of drill arm on his arm and he is bipedal so he is standing up uh, I haven't seen the back of him he might have a tail or something but he's got the triceratops horns he's got the, the mouth for the triceratops he's got the little frill behind him he is definitely definitely looking awesome he's in chaos form here i can't wait to see this and maybe ventus to max Vin match ventus trox i don't know but I, I this is the thing i'm most excited about if not the the big skull looking guy um over here is this thing i, I <laughs> honestly i don't know how i feel about this thing but i mean looking at him he looks like a baby goat going <laughs> okay you know those videos he looks like one of those because you see his little tongue he's got this really short nose and he's just like Ugh. So I, I don't, I, I'm not too keen on what this is going to be. I don't know. Maybe he awakens into some crazy looking thing. Uh, but he, uh, he's only shown for just this frame here in the show. Uh, I, had, I had to take a picture of it and, or take a video of it and stop it on this frame because it was just like real quick. Um, again, uh, Panther guy here, he's got uh, this big thing on his back that I was talking about. So it's kind of like a... I don't know, it's like a big triangular looking thing that's locked in on his back. Maybe it's like some kind of booster. I don't know. Uh, looking like a Zoid over here. So uh, big boys back here. You see his big drill arm and then his uh, big wings. And we get another good look at that here. Oop, I got to zoom out to move over. Another good look at that here. Uh, here are his wings. Um, they are nice and big. Uh, a good look at his back here. I don't really know if this is supposed to be something or not. Uh, but this image is good because we get a really close-up and good look at the Warthog Bakugan. Uh, I call him a Warthog or the Razorback uh, because that's another name for him over here. And um, they have, you know, he's got little Razorback things on him. So I think it matches the profile. That's why I'm comfortable calling him the Warthog Bakugan. Uh, he's really cool. And he's in red. So if uh, you're from the uh, United States and you know Arkansas Razorbacks, uh, this is your guy. This is him right here. So, uh... Uh, I, I'm really interested in all these guys. Um, they, they all look so, so good. Um, this guy is just going to be incredible. I, I hope their design of him in the toy line is going to be awesome. Uh, I'm also interested to see the Warthog, to be honest with you. But the Triceratops, guys. The Triceratops. Look at this. New profile pic. No, just kidding. Uh, maybe when he comes out. I don't know. But uh, I'm super excited. I hope you all are excited. Uh, we got a lot of stuff coming our way. Uh, the show's getting better. Go check it out, please. Uh, ah, let let this company grow. <laughs> They're bringing out so much cool stuff. They're so responsive to the fans. Uh, they, they are doing a great job with everything. Um, but enough mushy stuff. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, we released our uh matrix mats uh about a week ago we're selling them people are liking them we're customizing mats we're working every day i come home from work and we start designing mats for people uh it's been really fun uh so go check those out we have patreon too we got a couple patreons jake alanux on board he, he's one of our patreons uh we got a couple other people um and we're really excited about it guys so uh just come check us out every day uh we're kind of moving to more three to four videos a week than every day uh, just not to drain y'all on hearing me and talking so much like I'm doing right now. It's what I do every day. I'm a teacher. I lecture all day and I come home and I get to lecture again. So uh, thank you guys for sticking through that. Um, but make sure you subscribe, like the video, ring the bell because sometimes my videos get lost in the YouTube thing. And uh, just keep coming back, guys. I really appreciate it. Y'all been nice to me and I want to keep bringing y'all some stuff. So I'll see you guys next time and uh, we'll see you later. Bye.